Let the games continue. Donors and community groups have come together to help a youth football program after their equipment was destroyed in a fire. Alina Lee follows up. From teaching football skills to life lessons, the Wahiwa United Football Club is an important source of pride for the community. It keeps our kids out of trouble. It gives them, it teaches them teamwork. It teaches them discipline. It keeps them together. It's a gathering place on Friday nights when Lelehua hosts a football game. So we wanted to make sure that tradition continues and give our kids in Wahiwa hope. When the team's storage shed burnt down along with all their equipment earlier this month, it didn't take long for the community to step up. This was a partnership between my campaign and the Downtown Athletic Club. It's a total of $10,000, and we're hoping that it's going to really make the difference so that they can get back to practice. It's a little tough at practice. I think we've been practicing with like three footballs between three teams. Coaches will be excited too because now, you know, we can use uh, more tools and, and um, equipment to, to teach the kids the game. The team gaining back more than what was lost, including a new storage shed that'll keep their equipment safer. Now we got a, a container that was donated by the Longshoremen and we're so appreciative of that because I don't know how you burn that thing down or if it's possible to burn it down. It takes a community. It takes a village to support these type of activities. And this will all help our kids become better leaders in the future. Yeah. Alina Lee, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. This is what I love about mm -hmm. Hawaii. The community bands together to help others in need. Stepping up. And yeah. that container, yeah. That's yeah. going to be rock solid for sure.